Welcome back guys to Pokemon Moon where we found out that there is no Kahuna here which is weird on Pony Island but Hapu seems to be taking us on and seems to be a Pokemon trainer of great strength himself by the look of it. Well that said we just look around for a second wondering if there's any goodies here in what I assume to be Hapu's house. Well, my grandma's back here as well. My Hapu was heading for the Ruins of Hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First you'll come to Ponybreaker Coast. You'll know by the soil. It's black as pitch. Go for there and you'll find the ruins. Well, it seems we've got many routes to travel, that's for sure. No other goodies by the look of it, hiding around. I don't say I move into Hapu's room, but there's something here. Another strange creature. She wants to talk to you. Is this Tina? Okay. See if Juice collected another Zygarde core. You see these core moves are memorized by the Zygarde Cube, so you can use it to teach Zygarde moves as many times as you like. Everything's up to you, by chance. Well, I'll take that. Just a core hanging out in someone's bedrooms. I take it that'll take me out to the back again. Yep. So let's go out for the front. See, it's worth checking out places, isn't it? Plus, it's a Pokeball just down here. And you never know what might just be hiding around this way. Another Pokeball as well, if I didn't look there. Right. So, there's a Pokeball here, but we're going to have to go around for that. There's a Pokeball hidden all the way around here. Someone's blocking this, by the look of it. Vast Pony Canyon. Why are you blocking this? If you want to go into the Vast Pony Canyon, you'll need permission from the Kahuna first. No, there is a Kahuna! But we said no. But still, I'm confused. Because we find ourselves a shiny stone. And of course, we now have Machamp. And the ability to carry me wherever I need to be. In the meantime, there's tons of Zygarde cells here. Just waiting for me to pick up. So we've got Vast Bunny Cannon Runes of Hope. And the shore itself. Well, we're going to get into some wild battles. I want to get this item. Okay, it's Pokemon fought before. All right, Toxapex. I think I'm going to switch to Lazzle soon. Give it a little bit more of a go. But in the meantime, don't crunch me. I'm all toxic. You. I'm going to have to recover now. At least your HP will be drained away in no time. Not Z power. Even though it would critical at this point. But one shot from KOing it. Super Fang was avoided, though technically why am I recovering if it can use Super Fang? Because it might just cut my HP in half again. Which leaves me back to where I was before. Double edge? Well, look at us with the love. Oh well, critical hit. Double double power. As Sidroid grows to level 52. Alright, so what do we get for going that way? Another adrenaline orb. Too bad I can't just jump through there. I think I'd have the sense to. All the same, we made it out fine. And find a TM hiding around, right. There's a way into there from the beach. Okay, so there's also a trainer hiding back there as well. Well, we reached the Pony Breaker Coast. Where trainers are waiting, probably stalking. But a TM is what we want most of all. A wild Gastrodon in the meantime appears. Alright, well, to be honest, Toxapex is probably still our best Pokemon for capture. But we don't know what it's weak or strong to. I reckon you're ground. Nope. Okay, cool. All the same, another hit like that. And it's within a capture level. Water? I don't know. 
Can't be that either. Hidden powers being used. What kind of... Super effective hidden power is what you've got. I want to catch new Pokemon. So let's get out of there. Maybe I should use a Dusk Ball to use the power of Night to my advantage. I was about to say, that looked one crazy roll there. No one used a hidden power again, that's for sure. Oh, para paralyzed! Do you want to, like, shed your skin or something? That'd be cool. Trying again. We get our third shake. And we get our capture. Another new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. So what's coming out next? Gastrodon. A second stage evolution. Is registered. Wouldn't surprise me if we couldn't catch a lot of first stage evolutions. Experiments are being conducted to discover what happens when a gastrodon is raised in a location other than the sea where it was born. I knew it was ground! Somehow! Water ground though, which kind of evened it out. Does that still mean he's immune to electricity though? Well, if Toxapex currently paralysed, it'd be good to change that, but we've got ourselves Frost Breath. Which I imagine, or I'd bet, is a special attack, considering what it is. And therefore not much good on Sand Slash. Arcanium Z, well, yeah, we'll use that in time. In the meantime, I'm just going to use a Super Potion here. And... Considering we've got Paralyzed Heal, yes, I never use the Care thing. Editing reasons. Makes it easier to keep things in one perspective, honestly. Right, so onto the beach we go, where a trainer awaits. Because you can bet we've got to beat everyone here, and then there's probably someone waiting for us at the end. Does this area seem like a power spot to you? It does seem like everyone's fairly more powerful than they were, which is great. So I see a Jamie! Sent out a sanctuary now, however. Oh, it's normal! Let's say, however, it's probably a loading form, so. There's an actual. Oh, of course, she's sightseer, she's a tourist, she's gonna have all normal ones! Well, you're not too strong when you're not evolved. So even. Toxapex can take you down. It does mean, however, that because it's straight ground. That's more worrying for me. A normal Geodude now. Keep Toxapex battling because one skull should take that one down as well. Oh no, sturdy. Ruins everything. Oh, burn! Well, that was a horrible move to use. But it didn't really do anything. I was worried for a time, I went silent. I was just like, really? Really? Is this one going to use Explode as well? So we get Standard Graveler. Probably Toxapex is the best one to have out against this. Sturdy. It's gonna keep happening, isn't it? But I dodged it. Poor Graveler. <laughs> right. Do you do? Uh, oh no, Vulpix. Okay, Fire type. I was gonna say you're gonna send out like um, the, f the fully evolved form that I've now forgot. Golem. There we go. And your next one? Well, it's Skull for everyone. Weird how all these original form Pokemon were all weak to the same element. Hey, critical! Poor Vulpix. I'm sorry, your sightseeing comes to an end. Oh, my Pokemon didn't get infused with power. Is that what you were here for? Parasbot taking a selfie. Our generation, we're always looking at phones. Says someone part of it. And younger, I guess. 
The Pokemon enshrined in the ruins. Apparently they purify impurities. Okay, you keep purifying that, but we know that there's someone waiting for an attack or an assault on me over here. But do I go this way or that way? It looks like down there would be best to go first, but let's talk to you. Rare trainer discovered! I must immediately make contact through the peephole, eh? It is Collector Raymond. Who is Luxury Balls? A Turtonator! Well, you look cool. And let me guess. I'm to be worried about you. I worry that your fire grounds. So let's use a Z move. It helps to have those extra levels for that extra speed. Hydro Vortex. Makes sense that you can really shield over a soft belly by the bit. But we didn't get it, and it wasn't super effective. If shell broke, his defense fell, special defense fell, attack went up, I bet, and special attack went up. Very sharply, in fact. That was his move. And you're now using body slam. I've been. That was the weirdest looking move on that guy ever. Well, one more skull to do the job. There you go, Toxapex. You can level up in no time. Slows will reach level 51. Still behind the curve though, wants to learn the move Venom Drench. Didn't I not take this move on someone else? Yes. That's fine by me. Right, a Drampa. No clue what that is. Zero clue. Go Slash. To send out someone more attacking. Well, it looks like a dragon. Doesn't mean it is though. So let's send Ice Cool Spear its way. Might be a dragon. Really might be one. Go on here for a time. Job done. A very weird looking dragon guy is defeated. And so Collector Raymond is down. Do you have a sense for why you seem rare? Because I win every time. I can't actually talk to him to reply again. But it looks like we're going that way anyway. It looks like I'm being bottlenecked in this location over here. So we'd have to go up towards that no matter what. A fishing spot. It's this spot that's kind of interesting though. The geezer. I'm going to let you that near it with Yellowstone. Alright, Zygarde bit. No other enemy trainers. Seems to be the case. I'm guessing there's no other enemy Pokemon on this area. But there had to be an item around there. Hey look, Ma, I found an item finally again. As we enter the Ruins of Hope. What is this place? What is it for? Well, obviously it's to pick up more cells. The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But, but if we go in there, maybe Nebi will return to normal. People believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds promising. Well, you think that'll work? I'll just say the most positive thing. That's right, it does, Alessandri. I'm going to give it my all so that we can return Nebi back to normal. So just you wait, Nebi. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Alessandri, let's go. Sure, in we go to the Ruins of Hope. Are they hopeful ruins, or where hope ends? I don't know why you're saying something so menacing, but we've seen... Oh, well, should have guessed by the name. Ruins of Life. 
If we're gonna break a path, we need to move these huge rocks. That's what Happy's grandmother said, isn't it? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than words couldn't even express. We we'll have to borrow match amps. Formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book. If I remember right, it said, "When getting a ride from a powerful match amp, trainers can activate match amp shove by standing before a rock and pressing B." And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. I mean, number was to reset the puzzle. Look at those muzzles! Push up, go! Match amp will get us through these ruins. Indeed, it will. Are technically slower than old strength. Because the solution for this is fairly obvious from where we were, because we obviously cannot push two blocks. But we are looking just to make one way through. Which this will do, as we get carried around. Block puzzles! Does that mean I can go through the rooms of life now? Done and done, Lily! Should I tell her? No. We fine though. Happy waiting. You didn't even tell me, you ran off without me. I've read about them, you know. A lot of sacred ruins and the guardian deities worship within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The book says that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why. Even coming into these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebi. Oh, there's Hapu! Give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people and the Pokemon of Alola. It seems Hapu has been chosen. Kind of in a way that I was, I guess, in a random sense. Oh, so you two are watching? I'm the Kahuna now. The Kunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our past, eh, Olisandri? You came to Alola from far off? You must really be summoning them. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honour. The honour of being our island's Kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back. We were left without a kahuna, on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the tapu back then. So I set out my own sort of island challenge, travelling Alola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, oh of course! Please, kahuna hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala? We paid tribute to her at the altar of the moon. My mother disappeared into the beast's world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she's still my mother. I need to see her again, to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beast, eh? Is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island? A beast? Tapu Fini and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. All right, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokémon at the altar. A po ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokémon power. And this is the Sun Flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside in the lake on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why there of all places, but it's been passed down. Well, that's where it belongs. Executor Island? I think I've read about it before. 
It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? Yes. And no reason to dally here. Let us go and speak with the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to Sea Folk Village. Back and forth it is then. Don't let it happen, leave us in eating dust. Back to Sea Folk Village on the double. You reached out and touched the statue, Ella, but there was no reaction. Just wondering. Maybe I can get blessed again. I'll have a Z ring on each wrist. I'll be the most powerful of them all. Well, it seems to be all the way back, and I guess now we're kind of lacking having Team Skull, etc., meddling with us. Nothing to really get in our way, you would say. So, we end another episode of our group nestling between that 50 52 spot. We continue onwards to Executor Island, it seems, next time on Pokemon Moon. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.